once more, so what is your current relationship status? So are you single, talking stage, situationship, friends with benefits, relationship, married, in a polycule, sex cult? How long have you been, uh, a harem even, how long have you been single and what's, if you, if you are single, and what's the longest relationship you've ever been in? Go ahead. Okay, so I have a husband, he's Mormon, but I'm dating Zerka. Talking to the mic. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. Okay, I have a husband, he's Mormon. Um, he's great, but I'm dating Zerka. Um, okay, hold on just a <laughs> sec here. So you, are you just trolling? I'm not trolling. No. So really you you husband. are legally married to. It's honestly helpful because he's like he's like supportive. So he's like have fun in your twenties, like type. Thing. She's not lying. No. I he's wish actually really I great. Wish he was. He was in Utah. <laughs> I visit him. Was. But it's where, like. Where are you from? I'm originally from a small town in Texas. Okay. How did you meet the guy? How? What's the story with the Mormon guy? I met him in college. He was on a mission. Isn't that cute? I met him in college. He was on a Mormon mission. Okay. Yeah. How old is he? He's 21. He's 21. Okay. Uh, when did you guys get married? We got married. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't a real marriage. It was like I, we just signed it because like. So he, okay, he's Mormon and he wanted to be a bishop, but you have to be <laughs> married before you become a bishop. So it was like for that. I'm calling bullshit on this story because you can call bullshit. You can. Are you Mormon? Look it up. Look are it up. you Mormon? I, I live with her. Are you I'm, Mormon? She's I'm the truth. Was like she very much is. Mormon to but if you signed dinner. it, how is it not a real marriage? Well, it is legally, Wait, but we didn't have we didn't have our wedding. Bit. We just signed the papers. Okay, but that's a real marriage. Yeah. You don't need a wedding to have a. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Wait, did you papers. have? Some okay, people don't yeah. agree. Do you have a marriage license from a courthouse? Yeah. And did you have a like a religious wedding ceremony too? Well, we got married in the temple. Okay, so you had a religious ceremony. Yeah. Why? But I just don't, I just don't consider it marriage marriage for me Nick. until I get, have like a real wedding. Yeah, nor do we. Why did you get married? Why? Because I love him and we're going to be married no matter what, but he needed it to become a bishop. So it's but, an arranged marriage for him. Yeah. I'm a helpful girl. And, so you're, and, what do you, and what do you get out of it? I love him. I do love him. What, what, what's the purpose of you being married to him? I can always get divorced. I signed a prenup. Like, it's not a big, you know, like. Why not get married? This this story is It's like bullshit. Vegas. So a mo you're telling me, where did he meet you? This would be really normal in Vegas. It's not crazy. This, yeah, it you would met be. In, he met in me, this is in Vegas. No, no, no. He, he met me in my college town as in a Mormon. Texas mission. and California? Yeah, in Texas. I went to Tech. Okay, so you're telling me a deeply religious Mormon man who wants to have a position in the church, who he's currently a bishop? And or? he's dating me, and I'm a porn star, and he's okay with that. I don't, I mean, you your story's your story's cute, but I don't buy it. That's fine. You can look it up. Like There's different I can look everywhere. it up. Like I've said this ever since I've ever started. Like we've been together. If like, you go into the June archive of any of her socials, you'll see all of it. See yeah. what? Like, you can see all of those. Like, like yeah, like you'll that, see. I don't like, think, post him. I didn't. Like, I don't think everything she posted about it was. You like, don't have a whole, to believe it. It's not crazy to be like married. Like are you? I'm not. Are I'm you, not like, saying it's crazy. I, well, What's I am. unbelievable well, about it? In Texas, it's normal. Thing, yeah. What's unbelievable about it? I think you just haven't met that a Mormon would like. Maybe she wasn't a porn star yet. Deeply, I wasn't. I wasn't a porn star when we met. And he, he knows I'm fucked up, and so he's like. You know, like let me live my journey. Okay, that's so he's like, yeah. let's that's let me, let me use this girl and then drop her later. But no, he's we're, he wants to be married to me forever. I'm the one that's like, I can go fuck whoever I want. You know. Did that's you guys so consummate empowering. the marriage? What do you mean? Was the marriage consummated? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I don't know what that word means. Do you guys have that sex? checks out. Um, did uh, you we guys couldn't have, have sex, sex until <laughs> we we didn't have sex until the, we got legally married. Well, okay, but you con so you consummated the marriage. Yeah, but I would still fuck other people. I okay so. <laughs> The fact that it was Thank before, yeah. the fact that you got married before you started doing S work makes it a little bit more believable. However, I, me personally, I find it hard to believe that a deeply religious Mormon man That's fine. You would hard to marry someone and then tolerate. What's like crazy to believe about it? That's like. Well, I just. That is absurd. Never, have you it's never absurd. met someone that's like? Have you never met someone that's like married and fucking someone else? Like, have you ever heard of cucks? We I call mean, that cheating. That's no. pretty haram, but like, it's haram. probably there's cucks and shit. It's probably there's cheating. There's cucks out there in people's heads, but am I just like? Yeah, that's what I. You can be with someone him. that's okay with cheating. Yeah, what you do for a living creates a lot of them, actually. 
Yeah. When you went? What'd you say? What you do for a living actually creates a lot of those cocks. I was going to yeah. say that. Yeah. Creates a lot of what? A lot of the cocks Cheaters. that she's talking about. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. does. I've had many I think about that too. I'm like, wow, you really enjoy watching me get fucked. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, yeah. chat. Yet, Hold on. Let's going. ask the chat. Chat, do you buy her story? One in the chat, chat people that, leave it. Chat that Two knows in the me chat. from Zerka's stream will all comment and say that this is all true. One in the chat if you believe her story. Two in the chat if you think it's yes, like Yes, isn't that Zerka's girl? Cat. Yes, everyone from Zerka's stream, tell them that I'm not lying. Uh, we, don't, we don't deny that you're Zerka's girl. We are denying no, look, that this I had just, to drive just, her this is like, But that's not the Mormon too. husband, right? Zerka's I had girl. to drive her to Utah. Like, I, it was so random. It was you just absolutely random. But Why hasn't he divorced you? You're sleeping with other men. Dude, he loves me. Have you never met someone that's in love with someone that's cheating on them? A lot of <laughs> just be okay that. with it. Yeah, yeah, I had to this guy be progressive. block people off my OnlyFans. I feel fans. like he would have been even more interesting to have on this. And he gets to Yeah, we should me. have this guy on. Yeah, why don't part? you bring guys on here? Why don't got, what are you talking about? We got yeah, two but right like, here. Why don't you bring like, like I'll tell you, I'll guys, tell you exactly I why. different types of guys. 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 Oh I told God. you, I was like, you shouldn't, I want to invite my friends on here. Well, I'll tell you why I don't yeah. invite And I wanted guys. Eric on here, too. Okay, I'll tell you why. It was good, why. it was juicy, yeah, yeah, and you I'll, didn't you, want it. You ready? Okay. <laughs> so, most guys, they, they claim that they, oh, if, if a girl says this, I'll be able to rebut her, and I'm going to own, I'm going to own, like, I'm a really good debater, I'm a really good arguer, I'm really entertaining, you should put me on your show. And we've accepted those guys to come be on the show. And they sit there and they don't say shit and they cower and they choke. Because Aww. it's one thing to they be, hold on, let me finish. It's one mm -hmm. thing to be sitting behind your computer oh, watching the stream like, oh yeah, I would say this when they say this and I'd be able to, it's very different when you're live in person, we got lights, we got four cameras, you're sitting across from people who disagree with you. There's 3,000 people watching. People talk a real big game, but when, they're, when it comes down to being on the show, a lot of people fucking choke, both men and women. You guys hear that? Men and Brian said no, I've, I've brought on, I've given so many guys <laughs> chance. Like I, the first time a guy choked, I should have been like, unless the guy has a proven track record of public speaking or content creation, they cannot come on the show because ev almost with the exception of very few guys, most of them choke. Would you say we've, we've had on good guys. We've had like Chase is good. Adam 22 was good. I'm Adam 22 was good. Who else? But I mean, he's like a content creator. You're yeah. good. Would you um, say that girls are like more, I, I would outspoken or like, you know, like bring more well, to the table? Girls are, are less saying, logical. Are you, are you saying that they bring more to the table uh -oh. to your podcast? No, girls are less they logical. Get, they get, they're more get willing better to speak content. up and make uh, random points. No, that you get better depends. Content off we are girls. wired. You get better content off girls. That's well, true. Because the, they're more emotional based, not logical not, like men. Yes. I've met some very emotional men, Same. and that recently went viral on no, TikTok. I, I, I've with had a MLD. 25 year old man cry in the shower. No, men have emotions. They tend to suppress them because they come out pretty aggressively. That's why we shut down. And then you're like, why aren't you speaking up? Because if we spoke up, it would come out very angry. Men are more aggressive and angry when they I'm express emotions. Too. I'm insane. Yeah, but it doesn't. But it doesn't come <laughs> out in the form of anger. It comes out. I, in the mine form. has come out in the form of anger. No, but it comes out in the form of things yeah, like gaslighting. Gaslighting? You yes. think I gaslight? That's not real. No, every single Men one. Gaslighting. Men That's gaslighting. Men gaslighting. Okay. Literally, Men gaslighting. Just Isn't that gaslighting? Like, like, like completely. I've been gaslit on this word. own show. That's <laughs> <not true>. <laughs> <laughs> I've been gaslit by Brian. You're, you're a gaslighter. What are you talking about? Okay, you're okay. okay. So, so, so there is an actual... Okay, I'm going to actually teach a little bit of a lesson here. Okay? Do it. All right. There's a thing called the argument from intimidation. Do you know what that is? No, that's but when if people, you can explain it. That's when people will look at you and be like... Oh, don't be ridiculous. Or, no, you couldn't possibly believe that. This is what girls do all the time. Men do not do it nearly as much. If you're dealing with a guy who does that kind of thing, what he's doing is he's depending or he's relying on your own benevolence, your own kindness to not rebut him. Okay? This is what girls will do. They'll look at a guy, and because men have been told their entire lives, you're toxic, you're cruel, you're aggressive. Basically, men I are told. I love that. Basically, yeah. basically <laughs> men are told from the moment they're born, get on your knees and beg for forgiveness, you dirty, dirty man. What? That is what yeah, men are told from the, the, from the moment, the moment they are born. So when we do something and a girl feels like they're being attacked, when really we're just speaking our mind, talking about our feelings, you come back and you can't stand the fact that you might have pissed us off. So you go, I cannot believe that you would insinuate that you would do so. That's something that girls do. So many Girls do this, okay? This is not something guys do. Guys are much more to the point. You did something that bothered me. 
can you please apologize for what you did? That's what guys do. Girls just completely beat around the bush and they never ever apologize. I've apologized. I apologize. I love apologize. I'm always the first right. to apologize. Like Starting out fiery tonight. I've, I've apologized before. I know when I'm wrong. I admit to my mistakes. Same. That's how you yeah. grow as a person. Would you like to apologize to me right now? I feel deeply hurt by all the things what you've did I done do? to me and said to me what throughout the years. What I do. But I do. We'll get into it later. <laughs> Let, just oh just God. on the whole thing with no guys really quick. So what I would say also in addition to just us having experience of men absolutely choking on the show, I would say most men have very oppressed, uh, excuse me, suppressed opinions about the current social dating climate, but they fear the shame and ridicule that would oh, come if because they chose, be hold on, let me finish. Sorry, yeah. If they chose to voice those opinions publicly. I agreed. Valid. So like, oh, FTG, thank you very much for the 50 memberships. Also, if I bring on one like blue-pilled guy, the girls will just desperately latch on to whatever he says and use his opinion to invalidate what I say on the panel where I'm usually already like outnumbered, so. Why not just like a neutral dude? Like yeah. one that's like neutral. Neutral's, neutrals I know some. A neutral guy's gonna choke. No, he's gonna say nothing. Person. I know. I, I need a guy you. who's like really strong. Oh, they're making like good points on both I, sides. What I, the hell is that? I told you. <laughs> I, I know a it. few guys that would be like you interested. Should, you yeah. say that. You say that, but I guarantee they show up. It's their first time ever doing they're something like this. They're friends with Eric. And they're Bring gonna be Eric like, on too. They're gonna Why choke. Why don't you do Zerka? He's really so red pill. <laughs> Y'all are the same person. We'll I don't. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So, anyways. Also, just men are on the losing side of the culture war, so men can't really truly be honest with their thoughts. It always gets met, like, when it comes to, like, dating preferences, standards, and boundaries, those things always typically get shamed, so. He's a dating course, so. Okay, all right. Yeah. We see. <laughs> Mike Davis donated $100. Bring it on. I okay. don't get what's so hard to believe. This goofy try-hard porno star found a low-T Christian cyclist simp. Oh. Most Christians, especially those weirdo Mormons, are pretentious fakes. What's hard to believe? Thank you. This I have is a, Mike Davis, by the way. He's a simp. Like, That's thank Mike you. Davis. That's what oh, I'm thanks. saying. Like, you think that, like, Aww. there's so many of my fans that would let me cheat on them every day. Like, what's different about this guy? That's disgusting, but okay. There's literal, like, Mormon porn, too. Yeah, That's there is. There's Amish porn. You have a they bunch suck. of friends with benefits. Really? That's what you have. But I love some of them. Again, it's nothing but friends with benefits. There's nothing yeah. but, a, that, like, there's zero commitment. Yeah. How do you get fulfilled from this? I am wired so differently because I have so many, like, trauma. Cra no, not trauma. I'm going to take a like, guess. Crazy little things in my head, and they just make me feel so loved. I'm going to take a shot in the dark. Daddy issues? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mommy. Saw that coming from a mile away. Divorce? Was there a divorce? There Are was they... so much. Multiple divorces? There, yeah, I mean, but, like, you know what? I feel loved how I feel loved. If that's with too many dicks, like, so be it. Just because it's not, like, oh. normal to you <laughs> and, like, too what you dicks. expect. It's okay. Other people yeah. are happy doing different things. We shouldn't yeah. shame it. You should all love each Some other. Some people get filled with love. I think we should shame things. We were What's wrong with that? Bring shame back? No, is that what you're bring saying? Bring shame back for sure. Like, for example, this is on a very low level, but we shamed cigarettes for years. It was disgusting if somebody smoked cigarettes. We socially ostracized it, and now nobody really smokes cigarettes. We should do the same with sex what happened to the What happened to the word we should gay? We should, oh, like okay. no, 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 we should do the same things to sex workers because they're destroying society. How is it Here. hurting? How is it destroying society? It, can I wait, like get you, a little? I mean, I this is going to get deep. Do you want to keep going around and do the relationship? Yeah, thing? yeah, yeah, we're, 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 yeah, yeah we can come back okay, to it. We can come back. We can come back to it. Wait, but let me say, um, I I agree with you. But at the end of the day, they're still giving me money, so I'm still going to do it. But I mean, like, <laughs> true. You it's know what? Never gonna, it's never going to go away. So, so you money runs your life the world. For money and sex. Yes. Fuck yeah. That's yeah. what money runs the world. You know what else pays really well? Murder for hire. I don't have sex at all, and I still make. There are things that are objectively immoral. But I like sex. Wrong. You guys are haters. You're making money off of sex. So it's, yeah, the day. it's an immoral way to make money. It's an immoral way to make money. Guys, one at a time. Money. One at a time, please. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Do you want to respond? Then we got to move on. You, yeah, then you. Go ahead. My favorite thing is sex. I love sex. I love performing, and it makes me so happy. So when you, it's like I'm not just doing it for money and sex. I'm doing it for what makes me the happiest in the fucking world, which is fucking it's sex. That's yeah. what makes you the happiest. I love so what age fucking. did you find that out? Um, I didn't lose my virginity till like 17. And that's when you found that out. I mean, I feel like I yourself? found that out when I started porn. I was doing OnlyFans, and I was like, I fucking love performing. What else do you enjoy in life? 
Um, I play video games. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Are you guys religious? No, I'm going to answer that very simply. No. Okay, are you religious? I mean, we believe in God. We don't mm -hmm. actively go to church. Mm -hmm. But you guys like? Do you guys believe in like Jesus and like all of that? Yes, we have yes. a good relationship with God. Mm. Okay. Makes sense. So, <laughs> did you answer your relationship oh, status? No, uh, I did not. So wait, uh, just to go back to you really quick. Um, you okay? So there's the the you're married to a Mormon bishop. Yes. And he's hot. And I'm dating Zerka. Wait, he's, he's what? Too. He's he's hot. hot. The Mormon guy? They're all hot. Yeah, I love. Do Mormons. you still hook up with him or? Yeah, not that much, but yeah, we do a lot of anal. What? <laughs> oh, this is. I'm calling bullshit. I'm calling bullshit on that whole. Story, you know that Mormons can only do anal before marriage. That's not. I'm not a Mormon, but th that's, that's not true. That's true. That's true. Look it up right now. That's look up on your for, phone. Like it's a lot not, of look up, look it up right well, now. It's like the it. soaking thing. No, it's a it, trope. Uh, yeah, it's they're all real things, this is but it's podcast still for six hours. We people's get religion. That's what they I do. Know, I know, it takes a while. Um, <laughs> okay, and you're currently dating John Zerka. Yeah. Hold on, just a sec. Ben to the offender donated 99. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dan, I mean no disrespect, but you look like you have resting p wanst face. He's Dan. Yeah, when I'm talking about this stuff, definitely. He's got resting Ryan Reynolds face. And Heath Ledger. Yeah. Combined. Yeah. I don't think so. Okay, so you're dating John Zerka. Are you guys? Well, you're not loyal, right, to him? I'm honestly pretty loyal right now, actually. No, you do porn. No, I haven't been shooting lately. Like, for lately? the past, like, since I've been with him, been in for, like, a few weeks. So, so you're I've on a good streak of loyalty. A <laughs> few weeks. Yeah. Setting a career high here. When he goes to Miami, I'll probably go back, and then we'll co he'll come back, and I'll get back with him. Right. Like, you know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you guys will break up for a little bit, and then you'll... I wouldn't say break up. Like, just do your thing. I'm doing my thing. Come back. Be my Right. Thing. So, like, don't date, and then go date other people, it's and then good come for back publicity. and date. Publicity. I like fucking him and then having time to fuck the other guys. You I like fucking like. a lot of guys. Yeah, I do. Right. So, yeah. in other words, you don't have a boyfriend. I have a few. No, you don't. Well, Wait, you have a lot of boyfriends. She's a husband. She's a whole husband. <laughs> you have multiple guys. I have multiple relationships. Sorry. How many are we talking here? Two. Well, and then there's people I fuck, but. For work or for? Usually for fun. work. Fun. Usually for work. Yeah, like her Uber driver over here. No, no, I think she drove you. Yeah, right? she drove she, me. Your personal assistant drove you. Wait, okay, hold on. Uh, oh, my tummy okay. hurts. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want a Tums or some shit? No, it's okay. Nick, toss her a Tums. Um, okay, just kidding. I'm okay. I don't need one. Okay, so you have two boyfriends. Well, you have one husband and a boyfriend who's John Zerka. Yeah, you want to meet him? What? Now? Sure. Was nice. he downstairs? <laughs> okay. <laughs> In my uh, pocket. So, <laughs> let's see. Do you have any other guys that you're seeing not related to work? Uh, how am I supposed to like think? Like with your probably. brain would be helpful. There's a couple. A couple? Like sometimes, yeah. Like you know, like whenever. If so I think so. Is Zerka only seeing you, or does he have other women too? I'm not fucking other people besides him right now, for right now. But it's not going to be a long right now. It's you're. Well, hold on. So. Like you're in this only hour. Only fucking him yes. temp for the time being. Yeah. But you're going to continue seeing him, but then you're going to fuck other men. No, it's a little different because he's going to go back it. to Miami soon, and then I'm going to be, like, fucking whoever I want to fuck. And when he comes back, I'll probably be, like... Isn't he in Miami? He was he was just in Florida, what, a, no, not two yet. days ago? No, not yet. No, he was in Miami. Is he in Miami already? You don't even... Bro, this chick's so full of shit. Okay. Do you want me to call him right now? No, he was on the uh, FNF podcast. I mean, I don't, like, suck his, like, every move. Every what? I don't, mode? like, suck his every move. That was a Freudian slip. I mean, slip. Your, your boyfriend... Is he your boyfriend? Yeah. You don't know if your boyfriend is Unless he's in not Miami, then no. In this. <laughs> okay, so he's not here, so you're. I, I assume you're going to be with other... There's this other little guy I'm fucking with, but I don't want to... I almost fucking like guarantee you, like, she... I, I don't know if it was today or some other day. She was on the phone with Zerka. Hey, John, I'm going to be on the Whatever podcast. How can I get the most attention while I'm on the whatever podcast? Cap. Okay, let me just say, here. let me just say all this bullshit. You want to so say this is like, bullshit? I can show you clips of everything. Of this is all true. Like, okay. I don't know why you think <laughs> like, having a relationship that's crazy in LA is not weird. It's just like, like you're pre-planning. It's a It feels a little pre-planned. I mean, look, maybe hey, it's fine, because fine, I fine, stream fine, a lot fine, and I'm used to talking. It. But like, that might be the only reason you think that. 
I have to say I do it's believe just, she has a husband. No. Thank okay, you. Okay, fine, fine. I fine. feel like it's such a weird story that you it know. Has to and be people true. say that I can call up anyone right now and be like, tell them, like I have a husband. I mean, people think it's weird. People think it's weird, but they're more like, oh, huh, cool. Not like, holy so, balls. Wait, what do you mean? It is, sounds like a South Park know? episode, but I believe her. Like, Thank I you. Believe it's not like weird <laughs> to okay, believe. Fine. Like, also fine. I'll taxes, just take your word for it. Like, I'll just take your word for it. They help a lot. <laughs> so, is John Zerka just seeing you? No, if he's in Miami, he's being in Miami. Wait, John Zerka has a dating course. Yeah, he does. That's why y'all should go. Isn't on. he like, like he claims to be very Christian? He is. He's he's Catholic. He's, he's okay. He's making a lot of money okay. off of that right. dating course. And he has a dating course, right? Mm -hmm. The dating course teaches. He's actually pretty good. Does it teach men to manipulate how to, women? Hold on. Does it? It <laughs> teaches men how to get women who are involved in sex work and who do porn and won't be loyal to you? No. He, that sounds like he preaches what that, a lot that, of guys want. He preaches that that's not really what he wants and he would rather that's have some, what like, he has, he'd rather have some, like, third world, third world country, like, girl that's a virgin. Like, then you why know? is he involved with you? Because you want him to go to fucking some third world country and get a girl? Like, he's here in L.A. He's going to fuck me. There's plenty of girls in L.A. that don't and do I fuck porn. good. Like, you might as well have someone that's fucking you good. Like, you know. Do you take pride <laughs> in that? Yeah, I do. Do you think men feel really good about themselves when they fuck a girl like you? I make them feel Ooh, okay, really good. it's king yeah. size. <laughs> I think I make them feel so good that they're like all that pride just goes out the window. No, they like things that are earned. No, I make them. I usually easy. I don't even fuck guys the first night. Like I like try good to like pretend I wait. Like you know. You <laughs> pretend <laughs> to wait. Yeah. It makes them like I feel like feel more like oh. It's like she's Nina. So sweet. And we want, and we wonder why the sexual market value is so low. Why do you guys make sex so taboo? Yeah. I know. Why do you guys, I know. It's not a taboo. It's not taboo. It's not taboo. You taboo. guys are making it's it It's not weird. taboo. We have sex, okay? Yeah, we don't have anything like... against sex. What we do have something against have is, some, is something where girls like you and you, I have no idea how much porn you do. I know you have an OnlyFans. You, do you think porn. I do porn? What? <laughs> porn is so different than OnlyFans. Yeah. So. She's got a lot more respect for her than me. Curtis Reynolds donated $200. Unfucking believable. SMFH 304s. Yo, thank you, Curtis Reynolds. This this show is uh, is get, it's pretty wild. Um, go ahead. Do you guys think that there's a problem with hookup culture? Yes. No. Okay. I do. Uh, do whatever you want. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I still want to answer the question that we haven't got past. Sure. <laughs> well, we'll but, get there. Um, do we'll I think get there. there's a problem with? I don't know. I guess that depends on what you're uh, referring to. Do you think that? Do you think that people? Are no. Thank you, FTG. Thank you, FTG, for the gift of memberships. Whoever that is. Who do you think is to blame for the existence of hookup culture, men or women? Men. It's both. Why? It's a two-sided thing. <laughs> I'm who, just against who men controls right now. <laughs> the, who controls the oh, access to sex? Women. You open your right. legs. Right. Like, yes. So who's to blame? The women. Men. The women. But the men also has the intention to do it, so it's it's a two-sided thing. It's two-lane road. Men are just, men, men are pursuing sex. Person. They're going to act in a way. That they're going to act in accordance to achieve sex. That is correct. Okay. But we are all when girls like a her way. exist. Okay. All that says is there are women out there who will just give it up for, for nothing. Some okay? women can't escape yeah. like, the mindset that we were all hardwired in, that we should be giving a lot and receiving a lot and be treated like this. But it's up to the woman or the man to break that mindset. Are yes. you going to get like, shit done for yourself or not? Like, are you going to be a yeah, social but not media? by not through sex work, like yeah, not through knows. giving up my pussy on camera. No. Exactly, I'm like you don't have to find love either. like that. You don't have to make your entire relationship around <laughs> sex. But if some people choose to do so, then they choose to do so, and that's what that's what makes them happy. That really does. And I'm not a sexual person at all, and she knows that. And no, yet, not. like, I'm not like, going to hate on her for that I or like, like disagree with her because it's not really something to disagree with. It's just her life. That's how she lives it. And you gotta get over yeah. it, buddy. You don't like murder, yeah. over murdering what? people. <laughs> Wait, over her doing sex, you don't be heard about it. Don't be heard about it. No, 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 she's free to do it. What I'm saying is, then don't it's shame absolutely her. catastrophic for society then don't if, shame this, her. if that gets normalized. But okay, I feel like it shame shouldn't be normalized. Shame it, it in the privacy of your own home. You said it That's shouldn't not. be normalized? It should not be normalized, but it should not be shamed in a way of Why? making people feel bad. Why? If it shouldn't well, be normalized. He's also voicing his opinion. If it shouldn't, be, if it shouldn't be normalized, yeah, then why shouldn't we be shaming it? Then How do things someone, get normalized? I don't think you should be doing this. That's not shaming. You could be like, oh, you doing all this is disgusting. I think it's ruining society. Or you can say, I just don't think it's good for everybody to do. Saying it's ruining. But I don't. I think it's sex catastrophic work, for society. Sex work is the oldest profession. It's literally in the Bible. Like, it's the oldest profession. Sex work will always I'm look pretty, patriarchy I'm straight sure. in the eye. What? Okay, there, there's definitely older professions than sex work. And like, it's one of the oldest like, and yeah, most demanding. <laughs> like it's the most. Hunter, why? Because, one of the most demanding. Why? Because hunter, what are the most demanding? The barrier to entry to become a sex worker. What is it? 
Huh? Be a woman, open your legs. Oh, That's God. what you need to do. Uh, I feel like how it is. Okay. <laughs> what? What do you want me to do? What do you? How do you want me no, to No, you said it's one of the most demanding. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's demanding. How yeah. is it? How is it demanding? Okay, uh, so what work did you have to do? We some meet. people can't get it. Some no, people it's live, in some, demand. It's not a no, demanding. Wait, have you ever some watched people porn? are in unhappy marriages, so they go to like massage parlors or to like Ew. they go places. Right. They go sure. get yeah, a hooker. I mean, I know, it's people, normal. It happens. It happens. It Wouldn't call that a marriage. No, they end yeah, up it's not, and they shouldn't be in the marriage. Just, I think what I'm hearing from you is that there's marriages. more female sex workers than there are male, and that's why yeah. you're saying it's demanding. It's very right? hard for a man to get into at? sex work. Wait, that have no you sex. watched porn? You honestly, that, that there's more females in, life, in sex work porn, yes. yeah, than that, there are males. How does that like? Then it's more. So well, it's more demanding for females. Why, how did you make I don't, that concept? What do you mean? How did I make like that? How did, you, my brain? how did you get her saying like there's more she's females in sex? Oh, I think that's what she's getting at. Like demanding for females. But how'd you get that to the? No, I How said sex you? is demanding. Oh, okay. And that people look oh, okay. for sex. Okay, like, what? So, what's your question for her? Sex sells. Hold on, let her go ahead. What's it your was, question for it was, her? Sorry, I don't remember your name. Anai. Anai. Um, that there's more, you can agree there's more female sex workers yes, than there are. It's definitely oversaturated. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. That's, just, that's what I'm clarifying. Do you want her? Okay. Um, did you, you had a question for him, then we have to keep things moving. Um, go ahead. Yeah, so you said you've watched porn. So it's obviously demanded somewhere in anyone's life. It's out there. You've it's watched demanded. it. It's demanded. She said it's demanding. Yes. I mean, okay. Sorry, I meant demanded. It's demanding Ooh. you when you watch it. Sorry. I mean, demanding and demanded. You demanded it because, I mean, at the time you were demanding it. So, uh, well, I don't okay. know what to say Let's about that Let's not get into an economics moving, discussion. Moving 